All right, today, guys, we are in the process of planning a plot screen. You can see behind me here, I've got Lexi checking for rocks and limbs, uh, cleaning up the path. I br actually brought a mower through here and kind of cleaned it up, mowed it short. Uh, we're going to till it today, and we're going to plant a plot screen. It's Egyptian wheat. Uh, I've been planting it now for, this will be the sixth season. And I tell you what, man, if you've got a food plot that's in an opening at all, if it's, if it's a food plot that's not completely surrounded by timber, uh, you know, or some thick, a, f a plot screen is the way to go. And we found this out, I guess it was 2015, um, the first year I planted plot screen. I've had a food plot for 20 years. It's been in this, one of them's been in the same location this whole time. And I tried a plot screen after doing some research and oh my gosh, what a difference it made as far as, as, far as seeing daylight activity. Um, especially in the early part of bow season, man, when you got them bachelor groups still running together, when you got a plot screen and you, you run that along the edge of one of your food plots, and if it's on an, in an opening, man, it just makes that food plot seem smaller to those deer. And a lot of times what will happen is they'll actually make daylight appearances in that food plot um, of course you know not to mention during the rut uh, does it aid you because it gives them deer more security to feed in the daylight hours but man what a difference it made i actually have a video uh, when we first planted that in 2015 and uh, it's uh, my wife actually going after a big buck we called stickers and it's just amazing the amount of act daytime activity i was getting because all I did was segment my big food plot and put a food plot through there, a uh, plot screen through there, and gave those deer uh, a little more comfort to come out there before dark. And it is a huge deal. Um, I love it. I've been planting it, like I said, now for the last six years, and we've had great success with this. So I'm going to show you guys today what I'm planting, how I plant it. Um, we are like the 15th of May right now. Um, You'd usually have about a three week window in here and uh, we're in Arkansas uh, to get this planted. I like to watch for temperatures to be in that uh, 60s at night range, you know, to get out of those 50s and getting in those 60s and 80s during the day and, you know, upper 70s and 80s. But um, I'll show you guys step by step on how we kind of do this. It's really simple to plant. There's just a few things you need to go by and kind of watch, but uh, we're going to get it cut up with the tiller. Uh, Lexi's got it all cleaned up, I think, so we're going to give it a whirl here and see what happens. Alright guys, so today what we're planning is... I buy this stuff called Plot Screen. Uh, and it's uh, from a company called Frigid Forage. And I've been, this is what I've been using now for six years. I've had a lot of good luck with this. It's, it's Egyptian wheat. And what this will do is then uh, from May until deer season, you will have growth. And as long as your pH is pretty good, uh, which I have actually come in and limed this um, a couple weeks ago, I hit it with a, a little extra lime uh, to get it broke up. And now I got Lexi finishing on the tilling, uh, but we will we'll put this seed out. I'll show you what kind of rate you want to put it out at. Uh, believe it or not, this is something you do not want to seed heavy. Uh, if you do seed it heavy, there's a good chance that you're going to uh, put out too much seed and, and the plants will be stunted and they just won't get to maturity like they should. They'll stay short uh, competing against each other. So uh, as she gets this finished up, uh, we've got some fertilizer we're going to put out once we put the seed out and then uh, I'm going to pack it in. So uh, we'll show you the next steps. All right, guys, so uh, here's my fertilizer. It's a 24 6 12. Um, this you want to use a pretty high nitrogen uh, i mean you can get by with a triple 13 or triple 19 uh, that's fine i just like to start with a little extra nitrogen that's what this plant requires um, and then later on once the plant is established about four to six weeks i like to come back in and hit it with just straight nitrogen like a 6400 or 3200 something like that just to give that plant a good boost uh, especially if you've got a rain coming you can get that in there uh, a lot of times it'll make that plant jump out of the ground uh, this plant really likes uh, warm humid weather that's when it really does its best so uh, 
we're gonna get this in the ground I'll uh, get this fertilizer put out and we'll get the seed down we'll see what that looks like looks like she's just about finished up here we'll get it we'll get it going uh, I recommend that you put out about uh, 600 pounds of fertilizer per acre and obviously I've got a lot less than an acre here so I've actually probably got about between an eighth and a quarter so I'm putting a hundred pounds of fertilizer and what needs to be done is when you till out your area for the plot screen it needs to be about a minimum of 16 feet wide because uh, what will happen is, is the plants will grow up together and you can get some winds and they actually uh, sustain themselves by you know bumping into each other rather than falling over in strong winds so when you do plant this try to get it at least 16 feet wide you want it in as full sun as possible um, and you want it away from mature trees and shade um, it will stun it if you're by a mature tree because the the tree itself will actually pull most of the water that's around it and it'll you know the plant itself will suffer and you know if you plant it along shade it requires a large amount of sun humidity and heat to really grow well so just uh, get it out in the open 16 feet wide and one bag will actually plant a 16 foot wide half a mile long swath is what comes in one single bag there um, I don't know I didn't price I actually bought this seed last year this is actually some seed that I had left uh, the seed itself is probably around uh, 60 70 dollars for a bag uh, it's fairly expensive and right now fertilizer is really expensive so uh, I went with 100 pounds of fertilizer and actually a half a bag of the plot screen so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this the rest of this put out and we'll get the seed put on All right, guys, so here's a little handheld cedar that I use, a little Scott's handheld cedar. Um, what I like about this one is it's got settings on the side right here, um, one, one to five, five being the biggest, one being the smallest. And what I like to do is uh, with this seed, the seed's pretty good size. Um, it's a, I don't know, I don't know what size seed you would call that, but it's a fairly good size seed. So what I like to do is set this at two and what it does is it puts it out sparingly. It's, you're not putting it out heavy. And what that allows is each plant's getting enough room around it that it can actually take all the nutrients and water in that area and grow up really tall, which is what you want. And then, you know, when you do that 16 feet wide, man, you get a really good wall out of that. So I'm gonna go down one side, eight foot centered. So four feet over, all the way down seating. And I'm gonna come to the other side, four foot over, back up. And that's it and that's all the seed that I'll actually put out out here um, you think you want to add more seed but this is a circumstance where you actually don't you don't want to put too much seed out because it will stunt the growth of this stuff so uh, I'm gonna get that seed out now and uh, see what it looks like all right guys that's about it for today I'm gonna lightly drag over this with a little drag ATV little drag I've made and then uh, Usually I use a coal packer that I've made, but uh, don't have the attachment for my four-wheeler, so I'm actually just gonna drive over it uh, with the uh, four-wheeler tires and just kind of pack that in. I'm getting all this done before we have rain. We got rain coming for the next two or three days, so uh, that was the goal to get this done. Hopefully uh, this all works out, and comes up like it normally does. Guys, if you're a food plotter like I am and your food plot's kind of in an open area, give this a shot. Go down one side with a plot screen, it sure makes those bucks come out before dark and you know during the rut man you may get some action all day long so uh, good luck to you guys on that uh, I will do a follow-up video kind of showing our progress on this but uh, that is all for today God bless